seven months ago I did a video and said really sorry I haven't done a video for six months I won't do that again seven months later Laura thank you very much for prompting me said when are you gonna do some more videos or are you gonna do any more so this is for you mainly I know that you're struggling with your scratching so I thought uh, perhaps I should do something about techniques because you know I really don't like anyone saying stop scratching oh you shouldn't do that no you're an adult you know what you're doing sometimes we just have to and what do I always say scratching is a compulsion not a choice if we had a choice we wouldn't do it because who wants to scratch on wounds that are already there and bleeding and you still have this horrible horrible pull uh, to stick your nails in so I um, just been to the gym I didn't get too hot so I didn't get itchy with sweat I tried to avoid that kind of thing something called body balancer and I really really like it it's a bit of Tai Chi um, yoga and Pilates all mixed I recommend it anyway not talking about that am I <laughs> sorry I digress so I was thinking what I do when I'm really itchy which to be honest, for the last two, maybe heading for three years, I haven't been doing too badly. Only my feet sometimes, and always my poor hands will. In fact, it's probably this one that has the sort of splits. I just feel I'm slightly resigned to that, and I have my uh, ways of doing it anyway, of treating it. So, Laura. I do things when I'm really itchy, like, it seems to me that weight really helps so if my legs were itching I'd pile on a duvet, a cotton, cotton duvet and then loads of pillows on top and push down if it was the tops of my legs. If my feet were really itchy I, um, I would sit on them until basically I start to get pins and needles because it seems that also helps stopping the blood flow. If my hands are itchy I will put them under my cotton pillow and put pressure on them um, always keeping cool like so if I'm really hot and itchy or even if it's not a hot day I'll go outside if it's a hot day then I will try and sit right in front I have a tower fan next to my bed and I'll have that blowing at me even if it's the middle of the day and I'm really hot we don't have aircon here obviously so I'll just go and bring it in from the bedroom and stand put it right next to me on the sofa and just blow it at me um, obviously there are external other things like antihistamine um, but there's something about putting pressure on the itch that seems to soothe it I remember someone once said it um, maybe draws blood to the surface and that by putting the pressure on maybe that calms it. I don't really know. Um, I think that's really the most that I do when it's really bad is sitting on my hands, sitting on my feet. Sometimes I get my husband to sit on my legs, I remember that. And in the old days when it was really, really, really debilitating, I'd get my dad to sit on my legs on the bed until can feel them anymore. Um, none, none of them are glamorous ways of being but then there is absolutely nothing glamorous about eczema. The external things apart from, uh, as in tablets and things, apart from antihistamine is I've learnt having railed against it for years and I know there's lots of TSW people that hate me saying it um, and maybe I don't suffer from it because I am pretty clear all over and I have used strong steroid um, uh, a lot in my life and particularly as a child uh, but now well, not really but I do use Dermavate ointment to shut it down as soon as it starts to come up um, I just put it on the cracks on my fingers even though pharmacists say oh no you mustn't put it in the cracks because they put it around whatever um, so I will put thick steroid you know put the strong steroid like Dermavate on as soon as it starts to flare up and keep doing it twice a day for three days until it's completely gone, the redness is gone and I'm always moisturising in between with whichever emollient you like. But don't suffer the itch, don't think, oh I can't use this because it's bad for me. 
steroid thins your skin for the time that you're using it and then it takes about two weeks to recover back to its normal uh, thickness. My uh, dermatologist used to, when my knuckles were really thick, I mean, they're not super glamorous now, he would um, tell me to thin them, keep, you know, keep thinning them down uh, because they were very elephant-like from being rubbed all the time. Um, anyway, if anyone knows how I can put uh, subtitles on this so that you don't actually have to hear my voice, which could be preferable, will you also let me know in comments. Anyway, Laura, if there's anything I haven't covered in what to do about being really itchy or anything that I have covered and you want to question me about, please uh, write it in your comments. I think six minutes is enough. Bye.